Get ready folks, it looks like the second trailer for GT6 might be dropping in May 2024. With a Take 2 call coming up, anticipation is building. And let's not forget the full map concept leaks adding fuel to the fire. Looks like GT6 is right on the schedule for an early 2025 release. Buckle up gamers, it's gonna be a wild ride. Subscribe if you want GT6 trailer 2 as soon as possible. Thank you and let's go! So we're starting off with, if the big Rockstar Games wasn't sure they wouldn't have called the trailer coming in 2025, I don't think you should trust anything other than the official statement. But just imagine if coming 2025, I mean, coming 2025 was actually meant to be the second trailer, that would be such such a bad thing to happen, but I don't feel like it is. I, I feel like we're getting a trailer pretty soon, like April or May is probably when we get in the trailer too. The next one, uh, the HUD. I saw this on Twitter, saved it a while back, so don't know who made it. However, what kind of style are you guys hoping for the HUD to be like? Personally, I reckon they'll lean into a more neon aesthetic, I, I mean, neon aesthetic, and I hope they keep it as minimalistic as possible, as Rockstar usually does, and also lean towards a more retro approach to design, like in the fan made mock up design. Uh, God, that HUD is hilarious dated. I mean, it is Vice City HUD and was GT4 style map, all elements of that are very old. This was clearly made by some kid with zero creativity, but it still looks pretty good, I would say. I mean, that's not what we are waiting for, but that's something that we might look at, at, into and just remember how great Vice City was, but it's probably not where, what we are getting with this 6. It's on Scattle. Mike Straw, who is a senior editor at Inside Gaming and more than the likely works with Tom Henderson, says this. Saying this again, since people are still running with it, I've reached out to multiple sources and was told the game was on Scattle, and that any suggestion of delay at this point is development is pure conjecture and it's not confirmed 1000%. Rough concept map combining newest mapping project plus Avatar SD's content. Concept. Uh, so this guy says is that he is not an artist and he uh, knows it don't look that good. This is the first time he ever used to paint on his PC, but still it looks pretty good and I mean there's a lot of stuff that is not happening 1000% on the map, but it still looks pretty well and maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get something right from it. One can only wish that half art skills, let alone PC with mouse and keyboard, a lot is just a speculation though, like Ambrosia is the third city, combining Orlando with a Saint Augustine, Florida and having Fairyland right at these borders, or the entire idea of northern Cuba being there or Georgia beginning somewhere at the top with mountains. I tried adding a panhandle, but it looks like Africa, so I left it out. Landmass wise, it looks to be about the two times GTA 5 map, maybe. You know, honestly, I could really see this being extremely close to the real thing. I mean, just looking at it, it looks completely within the realm, so what we could potentially see? The scaling looks good, and I'm pretty convinced this is very close to what we will see in a release. The mountains up top from Georgia, our area, could work as a perfect land cap, and potentially they could build on the map from there as they claimed it would evolve over time. And this is the true, by the way. AI characters. Imagine if you could have in-depth conversations with the NPCs just by, just by talking into your mic. You could cause someone out on the road or tell them you are going to buy food for their family just to see their reaction. Take hostages and make demands, even if NPCs couldn't actually do anything about what you are saying other than like, cover and fear. You could see their reaction to whatever you do or say and never hear the same voice line twice, unless you are playing story mode. Speaking of, even story mode could have a mode where it is all just controlled and the story is created by AI. Cool concept, but I don't think AI is quite there yet, but I could see it for whatever Rockstar game comes out after this couple of years down their line, and I feel like maybe in the future something like this happens, but not right now. I feel like GT6 still will be an old style, even with AI creations and all of this stuff, but it's still too early for AI to took 
uh, to take over the gaming industry. I think we will see the second trailer after the Take Two call in May and an announcement from the same days uh, before the investors call or even when it arrives in June. Everything indicates that the game will come out in early 2025 and this game should have at least six trailers. What do you think? I don't feel like six trailers is the right thing, but three, maybe four at the highest, is probably what we are getting. So let's go with your ideas that I found in the comments, pretty interesting. Uh, the first one by Bullshark7888. GG6 having only one ending is kind of a bone-headed move on Rockstar's part if they do do that, so I'm pretty sure considering the huge success of GT5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 that GT6 will most definitely have multiple endings. As one of the Redditors stated, Rockstar and Take-2 take years to develop a single game because they are aiming not only for perfection in storytelling, cinematics and gameplay, but also for uh, uh, replayability for players to continue playing their games years after they release, while they work on a future installment, which is why GT5 and Red Redemption 2 are still being played to this day, years after their release, with players finding something new every time they start a new story. So yes, there will be a multiple endings, with my guess being there one canon good ending, one bad ending, and one that's probably a mix of the two, like where you finish the game story as intended, but but is a major cost in Red Dead Redemption 2, no matter how you look at it. Yes, Arthur's inevitable death was very heartbreaking for everyone, but considering the fact that Red Dead Redemption 2 was meant to tie into the Red Dead Redemption 1, when there is no mention of Arthur, Rockstar had to come up with a way to end Arthur's story in a way where he comes off as a hero who sacrificed every scene he ever knew just so his brother gets to live his own happy ending. And for GT6, I can see the three speculated endings being as one where Jason dies and Lucia lives, on where Lucia dies and Jason lives, and one similar to GT5's option C ending, where both of them end up living while screwing over all the big bats, albeit in being much much harder to pull off but with a more satisfying twist at the end. And another one by the user, uh, so you can literally see his name over here. What if in 2019 Rockstar Games returned to its old system, which is to release several new games per generation as in the past? A hypothetical scenario for the poss possibility of the thing. In 2019, Rockstar Games returned to its old system, which is to release several new games in a generation as it is in the past, and develop 10 new games and release them in 2020s, the current decade. Midnight Club Reboot, GT San Fierro, GTA Los Santos, GTA Las Venturas, Between pa Past, Present and Future, uh, 6 Max Payne 4, Bully 2, Lenoir Reboot, Manhunt 3, Red Dead Reboot. Note, is it possible that a game, GT San Fierro, takes place in San Fierro in the past, the minimum is 1959 and the maximum is 1929. Second note, is it possible that a game GTA Los Santos takes place in Los Santos in the present day and has two side stories? A side story that takes place in Los Santos in the future, the lowest is a year 2059 and the maximum year is 2109. And the side story that takes place in Los Santos, Santos in the past, the lowest is 1959 and the maximum is 1929. And the playable character of the two side stories is the same playable character of the main story, but in the main story is a character from the present day, and in a side story with the past is a character from the past, and in a side story with the future, the characters from the future. Third note, is it possible that a game Las Venturas takes place in Las Venturas in the future, uh, so the same years as a fourth last note, is it possible for the game between past, present and future to be an open world game of the type of, of infiltration, fighting and shooting, a displayable character is made up of three different characters in three different worlds. Oh my god, it's kinda huge idea, but I don't feel like Rockstar will ever come up with this thing, as probably it's not going to happen that way. It's kinda complicated for them to create something like this, as I don't feel like they are even going to do uh, it, as they are probably going to go with the timeline that we are in right now, which is around uh, 2024, 2020, uh, 2030, so it was all those uh, type of stuff, and I don't feel like we are going to go back, back in time, or in the future, future, it's not the Rockstars type, type thing, it's probably like Cyberpunk or something like that. So that's all the information we got for today's video, don't forget to subscribe, see you in the next one, and peace.